Good morning, good morning. This is Chaplain Mac, and I'm back with yet another Sunday service from the Quarantine Chapel. It is my joy and privilege to share this service with you here today. Yeah, I want to thank so many of you who have subscribed for the past month. Our subscription is up uh, and we're still trying to reach uh, 500 subscribers. Uh, we're missing about uh, 147. So if you have not subscribed yet, you have not shared it with your family, loved ones and friends, uh, please, uh, please uh, encourage them to subscribe and please subscribe that we can continue uh, to expand uh, this ministry. Uh, amen uh, and amen. Well, as we continue our service today, uh, I want to share this special song uh, from Covenant Worship, uh, Turning the World uh, Upside Down. Listen to the words, very powerful words uh, here today. There's a shifting in the heavens. There's a tipping on the scale. There's a tipping on the scale. There's a weighty realm of glory. Oh, hallelujah. Crushing down the gates of hell. We're crushing down the gates of hell. There's a violent upheaval. A sovereign release. A global sensation like we've never seen. Global sensation like we've never seen. Turn it around. Revolution. Hallelujah. We need that revolution to turn things around. The walls are falling. The kingdom is calling. Oh, yeah. Shaking the earth with the sound. Turning the world upside down. That's what Paul and Silas did. And that's what we need to do in this day and age today. Hallelujah. I want to share with you our scripture reading taken from the book of Acts. Book of Acts, chapter 17, reading from verse 1. Now when they had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia and came to Thessalonica, there was a synagogue of the Jews. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days uh, reason with them out of the scriptures, opening and alleging that Christ must need have suffer and risen again from the dead, and that Jesus, whom I preach unto you, is Christ. And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas and of the devoted Greeks, a great multitude, and of the chief uh, women, uh, not a few. But the Jews, which believed not, moved with envy, took unto them certain lewd fellows of the baser sort, and gathered a company, and set all the city on an uproar and assaulted the house of Jason and sought to bring them out to the people. Listen to this now. And when they found them not, they drew Jason 
and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, saying, These that have turned the world upside down are come hither also. These that turn the world upside down, he said, has come hither also, which means that they have come to our town. Hallelujah. These who have turned this world upside down have come hither. Hallelujah. <laughs> and whom Jason had received. And these all do contrary to the decree of Caesar, saying that there is another king, one Jesus. Hallelujah. That there is another king, one Jesus. Would you pray with me today, Father, in the name of Jesus, in your holy name. We come, dear Lord, and we pray for a stirring of the church. We pray for the stirring of the saints. We pray for the stirring of believers. We pray, dear Lord, for an uproar that is going to take place within our villages, within our cities, within our suburbs, on our highways, within our towns, wherever people might congregate, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray that there will be a moving of your Holy Spirit there. We pray that there will be a burden of souls in our hearts and in our minds. Uh, and we would not be able to rest. Uh, we will not be able uh, to let go of that burden. Uh, but we will respond uh, in your strength uh, and in your power and in your might uh, to have victory, dear Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray uh, that you may rattle our churches. Uh, we pray that you may move our congregation. We pray that you may inspire our preachers and our pastors and our evangelists. And just like you move men in the past and move men of old, that you may move on us today with a mighty outpouring of your Holy Spirit to accomplish your purpose. Because Lord, we know that there are souls that are desperate and souls that that are lost uh, and souls that need salvation. Uh, we just cannot just play church anymore. We just cannot just stay in our churches anymore. But we need to be able to go out into the marketplace uh, and go out into the highways and the hedges uh, and preach the gospel of salvation. Uh, we pray that you may empower us, we pray in Jesus' name. Uh, amen and amen. Uh, and amen. Well, I tell you, I am excited uh, about uh, this message today uh, because the Lord has laid it upon my heart uh, a number of weeks now and uh, he has directed me to share this message uh, in uh, titled, uh, I mean, uh, turning uh, the world upside down, uh, turning our world uh, upside down. We just uh, cannot uh, live uh, with the status quo anymore. Do you hear me today? We just cannot live with things uh, as it has been uh, and things as it is. Uh, but we need something in our churches. Uh, we need something in the among the saints. Uh, we need something uh, in our congregation uh, to be able to move out into our communities uh, and to turn our world upside down. Do you hear me today? Yeah. Let them feel the presence of Almighty God. Let them feel the power of God flowing from the church. Let them get convicted of their sins and their lives. And just like John was in the wilderness, crying, repent. And they came out to hear him and came out to see him. And they repented. We pray that there will be a great moving of the Spirit of God within our cities. So that, dear Lord, your presence can be felt and lives can be changed and transformed. 
Here in the book of Acts, uh, we see that Paul uh, and Silas uh, was moved by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and as they were moved uh, and they passed through, uh, um, as they passed through these cities, uh, Amphipolis uh, and uh, Apollonia and uh, also Thessalonica, uh, when they passed through these cities, uh, I mean, uh, they entered the synagogues uh, and they observed what was going on uh, among them. Uh, and they were not just happy there. Uh, they were not satisfied with the idols uh, that they saw laying around uh, and the idols that they saw people were selling uh, and people were buying. Uh, but they knew they had a message uh, that will change uh, and transform their world uh, and so they got busy there uh, they were out there in the marketplace uh, they were out there in the synagogues uh, they were out there among people uh, that made a difference and I want to challenge uh, our saints of God today uh, we need to be out there, not in there. Do you hear me today? We need to be out there, not in there. We need to be out there, not in our churches. We need to reach out, not in reach. I mean, we don't need any more programs. Do you hear me today? What we need is to be able to take the message of salvation out to those who are in need. And that's exactly what Paul and Silas did uh, and they were credited uh, with turning uh, their world uh, upside down throughout uh, our history uh, our church history we know that there have been many men that God has used uh, to turn their world upside down I'm thinking of Martin Luther uh, back there in Germany uh, when uh, the, the Holy Spirit revealed to him uh, that we are saved by grace uh, we are saved by grace uh, and we are not saved uh, because of the uh, of uh, the, the um the, 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 what the church says by works uh, but we are saved by grace uh, and because that revelation came to him uh, he uh, nailed his thesis uh, upon uh, the door of the church uh, and as a result it rattled uh, the catholic church uh, and uh, no more con no 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 more penitence uh, that they were, were talking about uh, and paying for this and paying for that uh, but now uh, he was preaching the gospel uh, of grace uh, where we are saved by grace through faith uh, not of ourselves uh, but it's a gift of God uh, and when he nailed uh, those that theses uh, upon that church door it rattled uh, the church from within uh, and oh there was a big uproar and as a result uh, as a result result of that uh, we have uh, the Lutheran church uh, because they came with a new message uh, of uh, salvation. God used Martin Luther to rattle the church uh, and to bring uh, the message uh, of grace uh, in our hearts and in our lives. Uh, I was also thinking uh, that back in England, uh, we, we had the Wesley brothers. Uh, we had John Wesley, the preacher, and Charles Wesley, uh, the, the songwriter, and uh, the musician. Uh, and God used them to save England uh, from destruction. Uh, in fact, uh, they, they preach uh, a message uh, that 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 what was so convincing uh, and so powerful uh, that that uh, those were those who were in the Anglican Church uh, they could not stay there anymore, but they saw the method whereby the brothers use uh, in uh, the, the 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 freedom of, of faith, uh, the free will, uh, if you please, that we have uh, in uh, accepting Christ uh, as our personal Savior and John. Wesley preaches heart out uh, and as a result uh, we have the Wesleyan Holiness Church movement uh, across uh, Europe uh, and across the United States uh, do you hear me today so God has a way of using men and women to turn their world upside down uh, and I'm saying today yeah uh, are we available are we available that he can use us uh, 
We just cannot continue uh, with the status quo. Do you hear me today? Uh, if we do, our churches are going to die. Uh, our churches are going to become clubs uh, and, and not a place of transformation. Uh, our churches will be just filled with programs uh, and not uh, evangelistic uh, in carrying the message of salvation. Uh, and uh, if we are concerned uh, about our world today, uh, it's important for us uh, to cry out to God that he can use us to turn our world uh, upside down. Uh, there, there were a couple of things about these men uh, that God used to turn their world upside down. Uh, Paul and Silas. Uh, number one, they were filled with the power of the Holy Spirit uh, and they were filled uh, with the power of the gospel. Do you hear me today? Uh, we as a church, we have both uh, in our hands. Uh, we as the church, we have both in our hearts. Uh, we as a church, we have uh, both in our lives. Uh, and if we have the power of the gospel, of the Holy Spirit uh, within our lives and within our hearts, uh, well then uh, that same message, uh, that's for, that same transforming power and that transforming message uh, can be effective today uh, to turn our world upside down. We just cannot continue as things has been the way it is. Do you hear me today? The pandemic show us how our world can be turned upside down. And, and we don't have to wait until another crisis in our world for us to be able to, to give the message of salvation. We need to create the crisis for the hunger and thirst after righteousness. We need to create the crisis for God. We need to create the, the crisis of salvation. We need to let men and women know that God is still in the transformation business. You see, when you turn your world upside down, I just want you to look at this. This is the basket there. And the normal thing is to put things in here and carry it there. But then when you turn it upside down, when you turn it, everything that's in there will come out. Do you hear me today? Yeah. And that's what we need to do. Uh, we need to be able uh, to take the things uh, that are in our world today uh, and turn it upside down uh, so that the sin uh, that, that has cemented itself uh, within our society, within our world, uh, can be turned upside down uh, and we can see for what it is uh, and men and women can come crying uh, to the Lord uh, and crying uh, with their hearts open for salvation. Uh, do you hear me today? Paul and Silas, they had the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul and Silas, they had the power of the gospel. Uh, and because they were so filled uh, and so moved, uh, they looked around uh, and they saw a need. Hallelujah. Are you looking around today? Uh, are you looking around? Uh, do you see the need uh, among you? Uh, and when you see a need among you, you just cannot walk away from that need. Uh, you, you, you get pulled in uh, and sucked in uh, and uh, once you have a solution which is the gospel of salvation it can make a difference whenever we have uh, a disaster some politician says uh, prayer is not enough uh, but let me tell you something prayer is our only hope uh, do you hear me today when we're dealing with circumstances and situation beyond our control uh, when we you when we we're looking at a future that is unknown uh, when, when uh, things uh, are stronger and more mightier than that than us uh, then we have to get into the spirit of prayer and we have to allow the power of prayer to make a difference uh, within our hearts and within our lives uh, because 
We're calling upon a, a higher power. We're calling upon a greater God. We're calling upon a, a savior of the world. We're calling upon the savior that shook this earth. We're calling upon the savior that caused the sky to be darkened. We're, we're calling upon the savior that knows how to earthquake this world and shake it to its core and bring men and women to their knees. Do you hear me today? That is the power of the gospel of salvation. And that is the power of Christ that we have today. Not only that, did they look around and observe what was going on but they, they were provoked uh, in this spirit. Hallelujah. I love that. Uh, you see, uh, when, when, you, when you see the need uh, around you, uh, you get provoked. Uh, they were provoked in this spirit. Uh, do you hear me today? And because uh, they were provoked in their spirit, uh, they reach out uh, to Almighty God and reach out to the people. I don't know if you've ever been provoked in your spirit, uh, but when you're provoked in your spirit, uh, there is a restlessness within you. Uh, when you're provoked in your spirit, uh, you, 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 it, it makes you antsy. Uh, when, when you're provoked in your spirit, uh, you, you have to leave everything behind. Uh, your work, your job, your family, uh, and everything else. Uh, and when you're provoked in your spirit, uh, you have to satisfy uh, that, that provocation. Uh, and you cannot rest until uh, that need is met. Uh, you just can't look around uh, in uh, our world today and not be provoked. Uh, you can look around and not be provoked by the what wickedness, uh, by the sin. You you can't look around and cannot be provoked. Uh, you know uh, where our churches are concerned. Uh, you, you can't look around uh, and see that we have lost our way uh, and not do something uh, for us to find our way. And then they had a dialogue. They reached out and had a dialogue, and their strategy was. Their strategy was uh, to, to, to connect uh, with the people, uh, the, the people in need, uh, the people in need of the gospel. Uh, I hope today uh, that uh, the Holy Spirit uh, has rattled us. Uh, the Holy Spirit uh, has moved us. Uh, the Holy Spirit uh, has touched us. Uh, I just hope today uh, the Holy Spirit uh, has done for us uh, what we cannot do for ourselves uh, and there is uh, that moving of the spirit uh, that can make a difference uh, within uh, our hearts and, and within our lives today. Do you hear me today? Because that's what we need. We need the Holy Spirit to change and transform things uh, in our lives. Hallelujah. We need the Holy Spirit there. Do you hear me? We need the power of the Holy Spirit back uh, in our churches. Uh, we need the power of the Holy Spirit back in our lives. We need the power of the Holy Spirit back in control. Because if the Holy Spirit is back in control, if the Holy Spirit is back in our lives, it will change and transform our churches. It will change and transform our world and, and we will be credited in turning our world upside down we, we need to start in our churches to turn our churches upside down we're just too comfortable just coming Sunday after Sunday and singing a few songs of praise and then going back home we need to we need to turn things around with the help of Almighty God. Because when we do, do you hear me today? When we have that revolution, when we recognize the need, we can take whatever circumstance and situation we have. And listen, here we, we can turn our world upside down turn our world upside down do you hear me today hallelujah turning the world 
upside down. Turning the world upside down. 